Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a member of the PLOS Partnerships team. Today, I'll be doing a brief overview of how to submit to PLOS journals to take advantage of your institutional partnership and publish with us with no publishing fees. If you start at PLOS.org, you'll have the option to choose the Publish with PLOS Navigation and click on Submit. From there, you'll be brought to an overview page showing all 12 PLOS titles and background about their scope and audience, critical components of deciding which journal is right for you. For the purposes of the demo, I'll choose PLOS One and submit my manuscript here. Regardless of which journal you choose, you'll be kicked over to Editorial Manager, which is PLOS's submission system for all 12 journals. If you do not have an account uh, or a profile, you'll click register now. If you do, you'll go ahead and log in using author login and either way, you'll follow the same set of steps to take advantage of publishing with no fees. Once you log in, you're brought to the main editorial manager portal. The first step you're gonna do is update your information, which may or may not be out of date based on the last time that you submitted. When you update your information, you'll find fields in red that are required to continue a submission and you'll see institution is one of them. While you're able to type in anything you like, we strongly require you to use the drop down as uh, it is uh, the institution uh, pops up in the drop down itself. It is tempting to override what's in the drop down and put your own um, uh, institution the way you're used to writing it or spelling it. But if you do that and hit submit, the uh, editorial manager will allow you to move forward, but it means that you'll not be properly identified when it's time to take advantage of publishing with no cost. So if this pops up, you should go back and correctly identify with any version of the institution that pops down in the dropdown. Ideally, choosing the broadest um, version of the institution that includes everyone at the institution. So in this case, not a specific department at Bangor University, but all of Bangor University. Whatever changes you make, you'll hit submit. And again, if you do not see the prompt warning you uh, that you have not chosen an institutional name, then you're good to move forward. From there, you're going to commence your submission starting with the main menu. You'll submit a new manuscript. And if you have any existing manuscripts, you can uh, continue filling those submissions out or you can start a new manuscript. Again, the requirements are the same. When you start submitting, you have to indicate what kind of manuscript type you plan to submit. All manuscript types are eligible for PLOS partnership agreements. So if your institution has an agreement with us for APC free publishing, it does not matter what kind of manuscript you choose. From there, you proceed to the formal steps in the submission process. And you'll see each of these nodes indicates a key set of steps for when you submit. Because it's a longer process, you have the ability to move forward or backward through the nodes, depending on what work you're ready to upload to the system. If you want to ensure that your payment setup is correct from the beginning, you can jump to additional information and here jump straight to the publication fees section, uh, scrolling down. While there is a lot of text here to read, all you need to remember is to click the second radio button here. My institution will fully or partially pay the fee. When you click on that radio button, a new dropdown will emerge and you need to find your institution here. This is a critical step. You must put the correct institution in this dropdown uh, to ensure that you can take advantage of APC free publishing. If you don't do this step, you might accidentally receive an invoice. From there, you can click proceed to continue through the rest of the submissions process. Because there are important pieces of information missing in the various nodes, you'll see exclamation points reminding you to go back. But once you've completed all of those and all of the nodes show up as green check, you have completed the submissions process and the article will be correctly captured as eligible 
for publishing with PLOS with no fees. If you're not sure if your institution is eligible and if you can publish with no fees, you can jump to the publication fees section and click the institutional account program link. From there, you'll be redirected to PLOS's website where you can search for your institution by country or by journal that you wanna to submit to or by name. When you put in your information here, it should pull up the, uh, if, it, if your institution is listed, it will pull up the country it's based in, the institution name, and all of the journals that are eligible for publishing with no cost. Once you're sure that your institution is covered, you can jump back into the publication fee process. And again, make sure you fill the critical step of identifying which institution will pay after you choose the second radio button. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at PLOS at community at PLOS.org. And in the meantime, we'll look forward to seeing your next submission.